five. Again, if we get a solid start, I will be super happy. But that's what I need is a solid start. Green, I like it. All right, let's see if we can hold this. Again, if you're seeing the tweets, the Facebook posts, or anything like that, unfortunately, it's tied to the OBS. And every time it's, uh, I say start a stream, or it disconnects and has to restart, it sends out a new invite. And while it's a good thing to start off with, it's not great for the subsequent invites. And I don't want to annoy people like that, but it happens. Um, so I'm going to send myself a test. Looks good. All right, it's holding. I'm going to trust it. I'm going to try and trust it. Okay. Again, this is the finale. Um, Jaeger, we defeated in the last one. And uh, thanks to Jan's extra shot ability, which was excellent. Absolutely superb. Uh, we did very well. So, um, got our A rank, and now we're ready to go. But now on to the final chapter of the book. Finale, Shadow of the Valkyrie. The real Cordelia. So, if you're trying to watch in the chat before, I apologize, you may have already seen the spoiler. Uh, if you're watching now, well, get ready for something exciting. Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We Maximilian stand humbly before you. Your Highness, you must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian, to cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your Empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy, and then Gallia shall be made anew under us. But, but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Valkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, king of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rongri. Your Highness, what are you doing? As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Thousands of years passed. 
The Valkyrer invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darkson tribes defected to the Valkyrie side. The Darkson were defeated and quickly became slaves to the Valkyrie. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darksons for scorching the earth. Of course, then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darksons lived on as... Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyra established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the Darkson slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Gallia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Gallian brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> If you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Alright. Shadow of the Valkyrie, jailbreak. Something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangris. What? They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that? Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... My... my chest... It's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... my heart. I... Help! Help me! Are you alright? Talk to me. I'm sorry. Let go of Forgive me. I've got to get to Rangris. I just hope I'm in time. Final preparations.
We're drawing close to Rangris now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melchiot in the previous battle. Exploit that, gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. Again, random soldier, dude. Why does he pop up? Could've been anybody. <sighs> oh well. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we guys? Yeah, you bet. Nothing bothers me anymore now. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara, and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. All right, everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Militia rides into Rand Grease Showdown. Mind if I put y'all's story on the radio? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Uh-oh. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. Bum -ba -ba! Now we know who Irene Kohler was. Of course, I think we all knew all along, but still. You'll recall in the past, I don't know, 18 chapters, there have been articles from an Irene Kohler. Ta-da! <laughs> this will be my last big assignment as an Ellet. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Stowaway, let's take a look. Again, gotta go through these asterisks, because I don't like leaving anything behind. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it. Faith alive. Now, your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. Your Grace, Sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. Now the militia is headed here to Rangris even as we speak. And I love how this is put together, this line right here. Because normally the fear would be, oh my god, the main army's here, but no, 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 their fear is driven from the militia. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's the best line. Oh god, the militia's here! Run! <laughs> uh. What? Newsflash from Radio GBS, your source for the news. The Gallian 
Russian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. All right! That's my bro, Welkin! Thank you, Leon. I love you too. Interesting. I don't know why Hans is there, but that's fine. Ha. Rick and I did a fair job whipping those kids into shape. Citizens of Galia, keep your faith alive. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight. Go, Welkies, go. We're all cheering for you. Make us proud. Hey, everybody remember Martha from the beginning? No? She's only been gone for, I don't know, the past 24, 25 parts we've done now. Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. Fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir. <laughs> Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense of Castle Vandalins to me. Why, why does Borg think he has some negotiating power now? Like, literally, he just got told, No, you're useless to me. Why do we even need you? And he's still like, No, no, no I'm, I'm still going to serve you. O okay. Alright. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Exactly. Like, why would you? Why would you? Put this man to death by fire. Galia tomorrow is replacing you. Maximilian, we had agreed. We had an understanding. All right, come along. Stop this! Desisted ones, who are you to touch me? Okay, for those of you who may not know what that was, uh, yeah, part of the castle was actually a spiral lance, which as we know has huge destructive power. And given the size of that lance, it's definitely going to destroy at least a couple of cities in one hit. So yeah, that's what that was. And the whole reason they went into the tower like that anyway. So now we know what the Valkov is. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian Lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. 
the greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens, shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. Step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? We wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Okay, uh, we're gonna head to headquarters real quick, just to see if anything's changed, since we did technically flip a page. Um, yeah, let's go to the command room. Hello. Three Lancers. Again, don't like doing that, but uh, who I need right now mm. that ability, though. All right, Nils, prove your worth. I'm Nils, Nils Darden. I'll see you on the field. That's not Neil's. That's definitely Nils. There's no E there. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. Nope. I'll get this right eventually. Come back. Whew. All right. R and D. Do you have anything? Anything changed from the last page? Okay, bro, what can I do for you? Uh, not much. Mm, da, 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 da. Nope, nothing's changed. I figured as much. Uh, outfit the tanks, what do they have? Edelweiss. Change parts. Critical defense. Critical defense. That's all I need to do, really. Now 
Magazine, sure. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Anything, old man? Probably not, but we'll see. Sorry, I got nothing for you. Okay, thanks. Thanks for nothing! But it's fine. Head back to the barracks. Well, Nils, you can basically keep that lance. Um, I'd like aim C, but if I do that, then I lose firepower, and I don't want to do that. Okay. details on this operation. Your squad thankfully managed to avoid that blast and is currently stationed at the Marmota side. We may not be so lucky next time. This may be our only chance to destroy that beast. It's now or never. Your target is the area along the Dreadnought side that the Valkyria previously damaged. The opposition consists of cannons mounted on the ship's side and endless waves of troops from the, from the front hatch. Station teams at the Dreadnought's front and side, which will work in tandem to stop the enemy. The ultimate objective here is to destroy that giant lance. That said, it's protected by a shell of light. Nothing we've thrown at it so far has so much as made a dent. Begin by hammering at that damage plating. We need a point of entry before we can do anything else. I think it's safe to say you'll face a battle unlike any fought since during the war. Oh, since the dawn of the war. Since the dawn of war. Okay. I'll trust your judgment out there. Basically, I don't know what the hell to do. You do it. <laughs> but here's our idea. <laughs> okay, so victory condition. The Valkov which is the lance, is destroyed. Failure, Welkin dies. The enemy occupies Gallia's base camp. All ally soldiers and reserves are killed, or 20 turns pass. And I'm gonna say, for this particular mission, all of these failure objectives are very possible. Every single one. Except, well, except for maybe 20 turns pass. Like, I'll probably be dead way before that point, if it has to come to that point. <sighs> so. ED up top. You want Rosie to be left. Jan to the right. Alicia. And again, if I'm being quiet, it's because I'm trying to think. Uh, so I apologize. I'm not trying to keep you in the dark here, but 
it takes me a while to remember. Uh, Marina. And Dallas, because she's got the repair, or er, no, I call her she because she's got a female voice, but he's a he. Dallas is a he, I gotta remember this. Oop, close, very close. Margo. And Walter. Our reclaiming the capital hinges on this. Concentrate your fire on that dreadnought and destroy it. Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out. Again, some of the dialogue here is just a little off. How do you sink a tank? Here we are. Actually squaring off against the Marmota. Yeah. This will really be the final battle. Lieutenant Gunther! Are you alright? Okay, Cordelia, just show up out of nowhere! Thought you were at the friggin' castle, but nope, you're just right here. That's perfect. Princess Cordelia, what are you doing here, your highness? I know I may just be in the way, but I wish to be of assistance however I am able. I wish to fight as well. Allow me to stand in defense of my homeland. I understand. We'd be honored to have your help in the rear guard. Here's the plan. Start by focusing our fire on the whole Alicia's lance mate. The Dreadnought's side is lined with cannons, though, so you'll need to be careful. Roger! Also, tanks can use the depression in front of the Marmota to fire upward. Right. I'm on it. We've come through a lot of tight spots, Sevens. Believe in yourselves. I know we can do this. Squad Seven, move out! Okay, so right off the bat, we're going to save. Again, as you can probably tell, looking at this map, cannon, 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 you know, just all over the freaking place. This is the one we need to hit. And then we got the anti-tank units right there. It's just, oof. All right. Okay. Just try and stop me. Be 
good if I hit both. Go down! This battle's just warming up. That was pretty good. Whew. And again, these turrets aren't too powerful, and I think they did this for a very particular reason, because turrets in the past have always been, like, super deadly. I think I shot the wrong one. So, yep. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted to shoot. Apologize. We'll get this right. Let's try this again. Same idea, though. I gotta count. From the left. One, two, three, four.